Well, hey guys, I'm here with the uh, with the Elsys Amplimax 4G antenna, and it seems incredibly well made. I love the way that this uh, reflector snaps in. Uh, I'm gonna go put it up on the roof and check it out. One of the things I'm gonna be looking for is right here. I'm, before I put the card in, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this button and see what kind of it's gonna report uh, different voltages that it's getting, make sure that everything's right. But then it's gonna tell me what signal it's reaching and from whom. So that's gonna be some good info. I do have a T-Mobile card. I am gonna go ahead and then plug it in and I'll meet you back here and we'll see what kind of speeds this thing gets. See you in a few. All right, well today we're taking a look at the Elsys Amplimax and this is a 4G uh, LTE radio that uh, well actually goes up on a pole. The SIM card goes inside. This is actually the, uh, the modem, if you will. So this goes up high because that's where your best signal is. And outside, it's all weather protected. Let's go ahead and pop this thing open. You know what makes this thing pretty unique? And uh, I've already popped it open and read through the instruction manual that comes right here. Is you can actually put this up on your pole outside and uh, without a SIM card in it, it will go ahead and receive all the different signals, tell you what your best carrier is in the area, and uh, well, how you're best likely to get some good signal. So that seems pretty exciting. Here's the unit itself. There it is, Elsys uh, Amplimax. And I flip it over. Let's see, it's designed to go outside. This is a waterproof case. It does appear that there is a door down here. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at all the different pieces. It gives us a nice long piece of cable. That's nice. Um, it has a power adapter. I'm going to put that next to it. Now, the power adapter runs it is inside your home, and it gets power over Ethernet. So you have one cable going outside. I really like that idea. This is, wow, this is really small. This is your uh, power over ethernet connector. So it's gonna have two, co three connectors on it. There, let me show you that real quick. One is for power, sits inside. One is for your power over an ethernet. That's the one that goes up to the device outside. And one is for your ethernet inside. So you're still gonna need a wireless access point with this, but you know the good point is, I always use my own anyway. So I just plug this into my home router. This goes outside. Uh, this goes into the home router. This one would go to the black cord up on the pole. And of course, power would go in here. So it's gonna provide power over the ethernet port. And this is a reflector. So I honestly don't know what this material, ooh. Ooh, this I thought was plastic and I thought to myself, how in the world is plastic going to possibly reflect radio energy? Well, this is not plastic. This is some pretty ga good uh, gauge metal. So, all right, I'm gonna put that to, ooh, and it comes with zip ties and some uh, adhesive of sorts. Yeah, it's an adhesive. All right, so what I'm interested in seeing, what does make this pretty cool, is there's a special button on the bottom of this that I wanna show you. That I've already read about. All right, inside here, we see some ports. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it around. Oh, that's nice. It's an external antenna. I'm not sure what type of connector that is. But here goes the SIM card, and you can switch your antenna, internal, external. And here's your easy setup. The way that they tell you to set it up at first, if you don't know what you're gonna be pointing at, is to leave the SIM card out, no SIM card. And what we're, we're gonna do is provide power, and as we step through, it'll show you the different providers, and uh, that's gonna allow you to know, all right, my best option would be, you know, for example, AT&T or T-Mobile or Verizon. So uh, that's gonna be cool. Now this is from a company that is Brazilian. So you may think, oh, is this for the US only? It does not appear to be for the US only. SIM cards work worldwide, and the bands that this supports are going to work. Well, I see there's European uh, stuff on here as well. So uh, we're going to make sure, but uh, you got to make double sure, but make sure this is something that uh, might run in your country. Cause, yeah, made in Brazil. All right, so what I'm going to do is plug this in, run this wire into my home, plug it into here, 
plug this into the wall and take this piece and either plug it into a PC or plug it into a router. I'm gonna take this piece, as it shows in the instructions, this piece slides in here. So it slides in here, ooh, this is kind of a neat contraption they've got going here. It actually does have a slide in where this reflector can become part of the radio. And I like that because, you know, it's acting as a parabola. Ooh, look at that. Nice. That was a really nice fit. Clicked right in. And now look at it. You have a radio that is, uh, well, has a reflector that's pointing even more energy towards it. I'm excited to get this up on the pole and check it out. All that we're going to do is put this up to the pole and run zip ties through it. So uh, that's going to be pretty cool. I do like the fact that it locks it up from the elements as well as I want to hide the blinking lights from my neighbors. So I want to hide this up high, but uh, make it public enough that I can, well, get some good signal with it. Let's hook it up and see what we get. All right, well, I'm here on top of my roof and well, I brought the unit up here and uh, I've already set it up so I have the cord. This power over ethernet, I did plug it into that dongle. So now there's power on this. And what we're gonna look at is this one. This little device, we're gonna plug this in without a SIM card. And what it's gonna hopefully tell us on this little digital display is apparently it's gonna tell us what bands are available and from whom. So that'll be interesting to see. Let's take a look. All right, so here's what I wanna do. I wanna plug this thing in. Let's see if we can't give it power. Remember, the power is over ethernet. So I'm gonna plug in this and it gets power and signal at the same time. And doing it with this with one hand is close to impossible. But there it goes. It's booting. Now I know it looks like it's flashing. Uh, it's flashing on your side, but on my side it's pretty clear. So um, it says load, L O A D. So it's booting up. You'll notice there's no other wires attached to this. It is simply that Ethernet cable. And remember, I don't have a SIM card in here. There's something that this unit does that other units does, won't do, and that is tell you about oh, 24V. All right, and end SIM, no SIM. So now all I do is hit this button right here, right about here. And now it's gonna start scanning for channels. So I guess I'm gonna lift it up a little bit. But there, you see it's scanning. What a neat little graphic it's doing. Suppose it's drawing little circles and it's beeping. So if you wanted to do this really stealthy on your roof, good luck. But uh, it's not bad. Now I want to put it on this pole that you see behind us. That's where I put all the antennas because I know where all of the the towers are. They're right behind us. And what it should find should find T-Mobile and it should find AT&T. AT&T, N99, 2U, N99, T-Mobile, 97, 490, 97, 36. I'll have to look those up when we get downstairs. But uh, this looks like it has AT&T and T-Mobile. So what I want to do is unplug this cable, put in the SIM card and let it boot up again. All right, well, there it is fully installed. So it's facing right at me and pointing exactly where my other antenna is. So what we're going to do is pointing over there, actually. So beyond those trees and about two blocks from there, that's where the towers are. So let's go take a look and see what kind of speeds we get. All right, well, I'm back from the rooftop. And if you've been paying careful attention, you may notice that I've got my hair cut. That's because when I first came down, things weren't working quite like I wanted. And as I learned something, so I'm going to share that with you. As it turns out, it wasn't the Elsa's problem, but they were very good about helping me figure it out. Just had to remove some variables. And what happened was uh, sometimes when you plug in a SIM to a different uh, access point, you need to call T-Mobile. I gave him a call finally and said, What's going on? I'm getting really good signal. It just doesn't, and I'm getting good scores. It just wasn't responsive. 
And well, they said, just give us a call when you change radios because uh, sometimes the IMEI changes and things aren't quite synced up. So they reset it for me and off to the races I went. I really like this product because it is not only a gateway and a nice one, but it's outside, which means that it is an antenna too. So this is an antenna solution. And if you look at the price of this radio and the fact that it is a high gain antenna, uh, it's just a killer deal at 199 So let me go ahead and uh, show you how fast it is. I'm going to run some speed tests, of course. But more important was what I learned about responsiveness. I was getting good scores before, but let me show you what I mean about responsiveness. Here, I'm going to hit F12. This shows me all the different elements that load up on a web page. So here, I'm going to go ahead and type in toyota.com because this is one complicated page. Look at this. And this shows you how fast this page loads. And look, it's just responsive. This is exactly the kind of experience you want and exactly what you deserve and expect. So uh, also, here was another test that we did. I've run this Pluto from Pluto TV and it brings me straight into CNN and it should just snap and bring up CNN. And now I'm watching CNN. That's the kind of uh, responsiveness that I wanted. So there's some great tests right there. But let me show you these scores as well because the scores are pretty good. Oh. Before I do that, let me show you this. All of these gateways have a, a web interface, and it's usually 192.168. something. Well, this one's 192.168.10.254. It's on the modem itself. So here, it brings up this page, and look at the signal level I'm getting. 99% signal rate, which means this is a really exciting antenna. So um, I'm going to go to the system status, the next page in. And look at this, what you want to be able to get for outstanding, well, they call it excellent, excellent signal quality is a good signal level. Anything below 100 is going to be very good. And signal quality, you want below 10, 10 or below, as close as you can. That is excellent. So I'm getting very, very good signal, very promising. And I can see that the band that I'm locking into is a 1700 megahertz band. And that bandwidth of this band is 20 megahertz down and 20 megahertz up. Very, very good. So it is a fast carrier wave and we're locked into it. Hey, this uh, box also has some amazing features that we just didn't see in other things. Here, I'm going to show you that I can go to, well, there's the internal and uh, external antenna, but I can also switch this and now I can band lock. So that's very important. And you may notice a lot of people were asking me about port forward and can you port forward? A lot of people want to watch Plex that kind of thing and be able to get out of the house with it. Or maybe they will have security cameras and they needed to port forward. This one does have port forwarding features and they tell me that it works great. So I do want to thank the folks over at Elsys. They were fantastic. Even though I ran into some issues, I'm glad I took the time to understand it before I, before I share it with you folks, I want to make sure that it works and it gives you the responsiveness that you want. So, uh, and after all, we're going to find it on Amazon. So, uh, you know, a 199 full solution. It'll tell you the signal strength you get before you even put a SIM card in there. That looks like some crazy stuff. Oh, here we go. Speed test. Might as well do it. It says T-Mobile. Let's go ahead and hit it. Look at my ping. 22. That is Wow, that is a sensational ping. And come on, let's get up in the 60s. Very, very good. So look at that. That is not a bad 4G's. And look how solid it is. It's rock solid. So nice ping, good down, and that should get about 40. It'll drift, and come on, get up to 40. And 60, 60, 40 is pretty close to synchronous. That is some very responsive, very good, solid internet service. And this radio brought it to you as an antenna and a gateway solution built in together. So uh, I, I wasn't, it wasn't an easy review at all. I spent a lot of time getting this set up. But as it turns out, this Elsa's product was fine. If you do run into any difficulties and you find that you're getting good signal strength, I'm going to go back to this one, this one. If you find out that you're getting good signal and good signal level, good quality, and you're getting, you know, anything less than what you'd expect, 20 up and 20 down, 
Those are megahertz. That's a very fast carrier. If you're not getting good speeds and you're getting good signal, you got to call your company, whether it be Verizon or AT&T, say, hey, I just plugged in the SIM to a different, uh, a different access point or a different gateway, and could you please reset my card? And, oh, that solved everything. So that was two days in the weeds, but, hey, it's all behind us now, and this is a very tight solution. I can't wait to take this to a couple of uh, problem spots that I know. Uh, and uh, see if I can't get some good service for, for those folks. As anyways, guys, this product is worth taking a look at. I uh, absolutely recommend this one. It is great. I will put a link down to it for below. And um, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Talk to you soon.